I apologize for not giving you an into the woods video, but I did go out yesterday and I took along some stuff with me. I was prepared to make a nice lunch. The weather started coming in, wind really started picking up and I just lost all interest. As a matter of fact, I got soaking wet. I learned a lot of things in that trip, but there's no way I was gonna film it. I know some of you probably would have liked that, but my heart was just not into it. So I thought I would uh, make up for it by doing Pops collection video for you today. And yeah, strange, strange intros. But um, anyway, so here we are. We're gonna look at the Tops collection of the JJ uh, JJ World. This is what's in it right now. You probably saw the thumbnail. I thought I'd leave them out in the front here for you and then I could talk a little bit about each one. If you're new to my channel, please check out my playlists. I do strange videos from time to time. And in this video, it shouldn't be too strange because I'm just going to show you what I have in the collection. And yeah, there's nine knives in the collection. Is that a coincidence? Well, I don't know. We've got the Topps Tahoma Field Knife. I think this is the first one I ever got. I saw a video or two back in the day and I really liked it. I thought, hmm, this one could be a good contender. And it sure enough is, I took this into the woods a few times. I think I've got one video on it and I think I'm gonna probably do another one on it very soon. I really do think it needs some love. This is a really nice knife for the kooky things that I like to do in the woods which if you're watching my channel, probably not that kooky at all. Supposedly it's a pot hanger. That's probably what you're thinking, but that's kind of what they said. This is 1095 steel, pretty large life, or pretty large, pretty large life, pretty large knife. My dyslexia is finally starting to show itself. Made in the USA, I boot, I do believe this is micarta, bow drill divots on both sides. I thought I'd leave the sheaths out of this video for now. And uh, let's go on to another knife. This is the Silent Hero. And this is 1095 steel as well. Micarta on the handles, some red liners. Uh, I put this paracord in here for a very specific reason. And yeah, it's got its own video. Into the Woods, The Silent Hero, if you're interested. Nice knife. Do like this knife a lot. I do like, I do like this knife a lot. There's some um, controversy on the internet regarding the sheath, but I do not have a problem with the sheath at all minor details as far as I am concerned. Uh, next in the collection, we've got the Topps Tom Brown Tracker. I think this is the number three. This one's in 154 CM. Correct me if I'm wrong, if it's a number two or a number three. It's definitely not the number one. The number one is really, really big. And again, we've got the micarta, we've got the liners. And this is the only knife on the table that is not 1095. I've taken this into the woods a couple of times. I think I've only got one video on it, but maybe this should we should do another video in the future. I still left some of the forest love on it, and you're probably thinking it's, it's rusting, but uh, it probably is rusting a little bit in a couple of spots here. Tops Tom Brown Tracker, no, I want to say number two, I don't know. All right, so we've got a Silent Hero number four. This has its own video as well. 1095 Carbon Steel, Micarta and the classic Tops liners, removable scales, really nice ergonomics. Could make a pretty good EDC knife, as far as I can tell. We've got the Tops Cut 4.0. We've got the Micarta, again, with the liners. 1095. 
In a previous video, I, I talked about how um, when I compared it to the Devil's Claw, I was saying that you couldn't get all four fingers in here and then someone said it's intended to be this way. And yes, I fully agree. It's intended to be that way because that's exactly how it feels. But I think what I was trying to demonstrate was just the size comparison on the handles. So, but yeah, very comfortable knife. Of course, it's intended to be carried in a couple of different ways. A lot of people like this knife, at least on my channel. I do have a Into the Woods on this one as well. And the Devil's Claw 2, this is a recent edition, 1095 high carbon or carbon steel. Blue G10 or sorry, yeah, I think this is G10. Yeah, blue G10, removable scales. And yeah, you can see there's a difference in the width here. And yes, I know it's not intended to be that way, but again, I was just trying to demonstrate the size. A lot of people like this one. It's very cool. And one of my all-time favorites on this table is the Topps Tom Brown Tracker number four. This is in 1095 as well. The micarta. I think that's black. They call that black micarta, I think. And that's the red liners. I took a Dremel and just put a 90 degree spine on it for the um, ferro rod, works good. Great at making notches. Makes a really nice neck knife. I've been carrying this as a neck knife for years. And um, it's probably around six inches overall, six or six and a half inches, somewhere in there. Nice little knife. Great neck knife for me. Some of you will not carry neck knives. That's fine. And let's go into the Street Scalpel 2. Again, 1095. You're seeing a theme here. They're making the same type of handles and liners and all that good stuff, removable. Very cool. This one is extremely um, aggressive in that you're, once you're locked into the grip on this thing, it's, it's definitely not moving. And um, I put this little piece of leather on the back here. It's just kind of like an indexing thing. As a neck knife, you could, once your pinky goes in here, you're, you already know where your hand is going to be. I've, I've, I've had things on the end so many different times, just trying to find the right combination. And so far, this one seems to be not bad. Very pokey. The Lynn Thompson test. This one is extremely pokey. The Street Scalpel 2. And my all-time favorite neck knife, the one that I carry more than any neck knife in my collection, is the MSK 2.5, 1095, Micarta, red liners. Same, same, same. But I just love this knife. I've taken this into the woods pretty much on every video I've done. Sometimes it's exposed, sometimes it's under my shirt. Um, one of the things that, um, if you're just getting into this for the first time, this is not a true Scandi grind. It comes with a secondary bevel. And you can see that I've polished it because I did put an original Scandi, and then I went back to the secondary grind because it was just easier to maintain because the, they, um, they give you just a tiny little bit of convex in here, which is kind of brutal because it's uh, very hard to sharpen on a Scandi. However, with that secondary, it, it is easier. So I polished it out, went original, and I realized it was just going to be too much work to maintain. So then I just put that micro in there as well. You can kind of see it. Kind of a micro edge. And very pokey as well. Really nice. Um, I did not do anything on the spine on this one. I probably should because I carry this one so much, but uh, I found that I was able to throw sparks right at the end here, so I don't think I want to mess this one up. Nice little knife. That is my tops collection. Um, I thought I'd just stay away from the sheaths. 
and just show you the knives. And sorry for that strange in intro. And I will be going into the woods again proper. Um, let me know if there's something in this uh, collection here that you'd like to see into the woods again. And no, I won't take the Devil's Claw 2 into the woods because it's definitely not going to work. And probably not the Scalpel 2. But um, definitely one of these again. You let me know what you like. Let me know if uh, 9 is a good number for this collection. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. I'll try to produce a little bit more content for you. Bye for now.